When he graced graduation of girl groups from Kina Ward that have benefited from USAID funded girls improving resilience through livelihood and health, Girl H program, Masi Corps Country Director Dr. Kuno Sheikh Abdi reiterated the organization's commitment to work with the Siolo County government in building resilience of local communities for sustainable development. Your life can change. Ukifanya bidi, kikuwa na matumaini, kibiashara, kimani, kikazi, your life can change for the better. Ni wetu ukua na positive life, ufanya bidi, uamine mnyezi mungu, maisha kutabadilika. Na wale wameanza biashara kidogo kidogo hapa, kesho takuwa wholesalers. Dr. Kuno, who was accompanied by Masi Corps Siolo County Coordinator Mustafa Kuntulo, said more funds would be set aside to support the graduates and other vulnerable groups to make themselves reliant. Vile masiko yuko hapa na vile mefrahia kazi tunafanya na vile sisi tunafrahia vile njini muna jendeleza na takuwa hakikishia kuamba tutakuwa tukifanya kazi na njini isiolo si support to the girl groups alone we have other investments both in livestock sector rangelands um, you've heard about the world development plans. Uh, we will do more activities together, and I think uh, for the next uh, uh, four year strategy, I think Mexico will be in the Siolo. Uh, the county government in our support, that I think is the way to go. And this is uh, very deliberate from our side. We will work with the county government, we will work with the communities. And this is actually our sustainability approach. We mambo ya girl groups to Tendelea. There will be more funds coming to them, more trainings. But the request we have from you guys is please support us and support the girl groups. Opportunity Masi Corps. Mepata was chana yotu na kina mama ni opportunity ya ajabu. Opportunity ambaye na itabadisha maisha ya kina mama na was chana ni lazima tushikilie to support. Speakers at the event held the Girl H program that is being implemented by Masi Corps and Melty Integrated Development Program MIDP for transforming the lives of the girls who have started a range of businesses and helped a number of dropouts to resume their studies. Na maliniko ni mungu. Na mungu pia akatumio ingine kama Masi Corps na LMS na my fellow group members ambao ni the shiners kufika maliniko. I'm really grateful for you people. Mimi ni kianza siku jua, I never knew if, kama ntamaliza, siku wai jua, kama ntamaliza. Likuwa tunasikia patua kisema ati, if you want to be helped, at least have something in the hand, you start, then we will continue from there. I was like, where will I get that thing to start from? But actually when we shared out to you, the, the BSLA, we shared out, I got 30,000 and I knew there was somewhere I'm going to start from. And immediately I entered to school. All the others followed. Kushukuru waze wetu ambayo wamepatia wa kina mama na pasi. Most of our kina mama ni wale wameolewa. Na katika tradition yetu unajua wa kina mama wakubali utoka nyumbani. Lakini waze wetu wakakubali waende wakapate iyo ujuzi. Waze wetu asanti sana. Wapi makofi ya waze wetu? Ningependa oso kuambia wale wakone iyo ujuzi wasikalie wapeane hata next person kwa sababu wale wamekua drop out kwa sababu moja ama nyingine si tu kiazi tumeona leo wako wengi wamebaki manyatani masi cops na mid p kazi yenye mnafanyia wa mama na wasichana ni kazi ya maana sana na tunawashukuru sana kwa sababu wa mama mtaenda kuomba omba inje sindio si mkona ya kujitaftia so sasa mkue empowered na mshukuru sana mid p na pia vile mzee wetu alisema mshikilie pia wale wako nyuma yenu mkono ndio pia hao wasiweze kurudia makosa yenye mmefanya kama ule msichana aliacta hapo akapata mimba si ndio ofisi yetu haina pesa mingi lakini in terms of giving pesa kidogo kidogo kwa mama tunasaidia bazari tunasaidia kwa hivyo hata juzi tumeguza words kila wads at least tumepata tumepatia group moja moja hata kina walipata group moja so tuko pamoja tunasaidiana <mulia>
following an appeal for operationalization of the county youth, women and persons living with disabilities enterprise fund by Mustafa Kuntulo to enable the group's access financing. Deputy County Secretary in charge of partnerships Mohamed Boru assured of Governor Abdi Ibrahim Guyo's commitment to have the fund operational and revealed that some shillings 30 million would be allocated to the fund. Calls for the county government to support vocational training of women who've never set their foot in class were also made with Director of Vocational Training Happy Adan revealing of plans to establish a polytechnic in Kina in a year's time. From a department of vocation, we want it to be user friendly. Tunataka kilamama warudi shule. Tunataka kutoa policy kama ya uniform. Tuko tuna discuss na TVEP. Tunataka pia warudi shule. Kwa hivyo, it's not too late. Unaiza tembea department yetu. Unaiza tembea ma polytechnic ambaza ni mezitaja. Mlangu iko wazi. Timetable tutajaribu kubalance between wale wameolewa na faa kushugulikia watoto na vile watasoma. Kwa hivyo department ya vocation tayari na pia na shukuru Mercy Corp for your collaboration. Disregard of girl child education, teen pregnancies, early and forced marriages as well as gender based violence are among the obstacles that make girls in pastoralist communities unable to realize their full potential. Office to they are not very far from the county and the national. Kwa hivyo our area Targeting out-of-school adolescent girls and young mothers from vulnerable families aged between 15 and 19 years, Girl H program improves well-being, education, and health access of the girls by equipping them with skills in reproductive health, nutrition, family planning, financial literacy, and business. Under the program, girls have the option of either going back to school or pursuing vocational training where they are later provided with grants and assisted to access government financing for economic empowerment. The program has supported a total of 136 self-help groups of 25 members each in eight wards, benefiting nearly 3,000 girls across the county in the last three years. Wale individuals about on a target, 2,666 participants. Ukisabu wala mbao tunafanya na wao kazi moja moja kwa hii project moja peke yake e, tunafanya na hao wasichana. Na kwa hizo groups, group tatu ni wavulana. Hii project imeitwa Girl H lakini hoa imanishi wasichana. Hiyo girl imeshikana toko kwa sababu ya jina imefeva wasichana lakini project siyo ya girl peke yake inatake tata wavulana. Masi Cops issued out 19 tearing machines, 2 bakery machines, tents and chairs for hire to various girl groups during the event at Algani within Kina Town. <laughs>